Welcome back to the Dapper House, gentlemen. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to tie the four in hand knot. Now let's get started. Now to begin this knot, we're going to make sure our top button is unbuttoned and our collar is up. First thing you're going to do is make sure the wide end of the tie is longer than the narrow end of the tie. Now take the wide end of the tie across the narrow end and then back around to create a 360. Take the wide end of the tie up through the middle, like so. Make sure there's no wrinkles or anything like that. So now you have this. So you're going to take the wide end of the tie back down through the middle, through the hole you created in the previous step. Pull it through, and again, make sure there are no wrinkles or anything like that. Okay, to tighten the knot, you're going to pull on the wide end of the tie. And then to bring the knot up to your neck, you're going to take the narrow end of the tie, pull down on it while simultaneously pushing the knot up. Now, make sure you put your collar back down before buttoning your button. And then button your top button. and then bring it up to your neck. Now you have a good foreign hand knot. When making your final adjustments to this knot, it's important to keep in mind that it's not going to be perfect and neither is it supposed to be. Part of the elegance of this knot is the imperfection of it. The proper length of your tie should be where it just barely touches the top of your belt. Now, if you want to take this knot and just bring it up a level of dapperness, one thing you can do is add a dimple. So the dimple process begins once you've already created your knot. So I'm going to go ahead and create my knot right now, and then I will show you what you can do to give you that dimple. So we're going to get to the part of the knot where you would normally tighten it down. And what we're going to do is this little piece of fabric that's sticking up at the top of the knot, we're going to essentially fold that in half, okay? Fold it in half. Just make sure the ends aren't touching. You want a little bit of fabric still left there on the end. Now, what you're going to do is pull the wide end of the tie after it's been pinched down through the knot, okay? And what that's going to give you, you can even see it right here, what that's going to give you is that little dimple underneath the knot that adds just a little bit of elegance to your tie. Thank you for joining us here at the Dapper House. Like and subscribe to help support our channel and stay dapper out there. We'd like to give a special shout out to our friend Laser who helped us design our logo. You can support him by checking out his YouTube channel right here.